Hey, so we are at Project Alderwood, and as you can see behind me, we've added a second story. This project is for a young couple, and more than anything, they just need more space for their growing family. What we actually did was knock a garage down that was detached in the back. We've pulled it forward and brought it up connected to the side of the house, and we've actually um, extended the second floor beyond the original footprint on top of the new garage. This project is going to be more clean, contemporary, uh, and we are in the final stages of it. So at this point, the bulk of the construction is actually done and it's just a matter of executing all the finishes. In this case, we've gone with a vinyl siding. It's pretty much the only way to keep the cost down on finishing an exterior at this point in time, but we have brick. We're going to be doing hits of exterior MDF and then finishing it off with a dark siding. One of the challenges that we have on this project is we're doing vinyl siding in a vertical orientation. So they only come in 10 foot lengths. And in order to get a nice professional looking finish, you have to plan out exactly where the 10 foot length is going to end. Uh, as a result, we're actually going to fill in with some additional hits of exterior MDF uh, that allows us to really strategize where our boards are gonna finish and make sure that, that it's a nice clean look. So some little features about this project. We have a nice contemporary overhang going on here. We're actually going to cover this whole section here with our exterior MDF painted black to match all the accent pieces. Uh, we'll have a couple pot lights up there, some receptacles for our Christmas lights, and we'll be good to go out here. That's pretty much all we have to talk about out here. So let's go check it out inside. Okay, so at this point in time, we are in the final stages on this interior. All the decisions have been made and it's just a matter of point and shoot. We have to get everything done. Um, this house is probably about two weeks off from being move in ready, uh, which is pretty exciting. We have countertops coming at the end of next week. Uh, Tyler is doing his thing upstairs, finishing off the bathrooms, and we'll see this come together pretty quickly from this point. Uh, even over the weekend, we have the finished carpenter coming in. We'll get all the baseboard doors, all the trim's going to be on. So this is going to be looking like a very different house by the end of next week. Some of the challenges that we've had to contend with on this project still relate to being able to get materials. We actually had to have the architect redesign the home because originally we had floor joists that were supposed to span from one side of the home across to the other. We ended up having to go with steel beam and conventional lumber rather than the TJI floor joists that were originally specified. Uh, so we had to make that call on the fly, had, it ha had to have it redesigned and thankfully the inspector worked with us. The other thing that we're still contending with is sickness. Things have really changed, right? When people get sick now, for the most part, they're staying home rather than coming to work. And we actually had our schedule shift around uh, because the tiling company, they had sickness come through their company. So they weren't actually available to come the week that they were scheduled. As a result of that, we kind of have guys working on top of each other and maybe in a unorthodox order at this point in time, but it's okay. Like the whole primary focus is what's best for the clients and that's getting the house ready for them to move in as soon as possible. So that's the priority and everybody's been pretty good working together. This is probably the best part of the project. You know, you get to see all the finishes come together and it's really exciting for the clients at this point. When they come every day, it's significant changes for them to look at. So this is probably one of my favorite parts that final two, three weeks is always the best. One of the big things that we insist upon is after the hardwood floor goes in, we put down actual floor protection. We start with two in one flooring foam and then we put hardboard on top of that and we tape it up. We usually leave the kitchen out just because it's too hard for the installers to work around it. Um, but it's actual protection. If somebody drops a hammer on it, it's not gonna, da it's not gonna damage the floor. It's very important because if you give people a false sense of security, they will abuse that. So you either cover it and make sure it's 100% actual protection, or you leave it alone and let people know that they need to be careful walking on it on their own. So that's the update for now. Let's just check back in in a few weeks and we'll see how it closes out. I think this is a great example of a project where you don't have to necessarily break the bank to get it done. This is definitely one of the more cost conscious projects, but a bit ambitious for a young couple, right? And they were able to 
make alterations to their existing home that were meaningful, impactful, and are ultimately gonna allow them to stay here in this neighborhood that they love for years to come. So the cool thing about a project where everything is so simplistic in style, you can really go nuts on the light fixtures. And they pick some awesome fixtures like the dining room table and the hanging chandelier in the stairwell. Like they're just cool, really funky fixtures. And it adds to the fun part of the design. So I love the way that the bathrooms came together. I mean, they are not huge, but they're really functional. You know, they ended up getting a nice full four piece bathroom uh, in their ensuite, which is fantastic. The shower is like 42 by 42, you know, good, comfortable size. And it's funny because the day the glass went in, it really accentuated the nine foot ceiling height on the floor. Uh, the girls bathroom, we love that as well. You know, functional for them. Uh, we have this cool swinging, glass door. We hope that they take care of it and enjoy it for the years to come. Wanted to give you guys a little insight to what was a pretty cool project for us. I know we'll wrap it up soon. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for coming along. Cheers.